you're twice as sure with two great names, Frigidaire and General Motors. Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as the man called X. Wherever there is mystery, intrigue, romance, in all the strange and dangerous places of the world, there you will find the man called X. More Frigidaires serve in more American homes than any other refrigerator. And now Frigidaire presents Herbert Marshall as Ken Thurston, the man called X. Far south in the last reaches of the great Pacific Ocean at the very back door of Asia, lie tiny hidden lands of mystery called the Islands of Spice, Java, Sumatra, Borneo, Bali. Nearby across the treacherous swirl of the Java Sea moves a vessel whose cargo is death. Of course, Pagan Zellschmidt knows nothing of these things when he answers the phone in his room in New York. Mr. Pagan Zellschmidt speaking. Listen carefully, Zellschmidt, to what I'm going to tell you. Huh? Who are you? Listen, one week from today, the fish peddler will arrive in Batavia by boat. You got it? Sure. The fish peddler arrives in Batavia by boat in a week. So who cares? Mr. X might care. Mr. Who? I, uh, I don't know anybody with that name like that. If you know what's good for you, you'll get this information to Ken Thurston right away. But, uh, if you wanted him to know, uh, how come you didn't call him yourself? Because he'd have figured some way to trace this call. You're not that smart. Hey, wait a minute. Thinks he's a wise guy. Well, it was very nice of you to give me a hundred dollars, Mr. Thurston. But of course, I didn't really expect anything, you understand, just for delivering the message. Well, sure, Pedro. No, we forced it on you. Well, I that is. Uh, Ken, Ken, this could be the break we've needed for two and a half years. Chief, it seems almost too good to be true. If it is true. It's the absolute truth. Now, how could I make it up? I don't even know who is this fish peddler. Well, neither do we. That's the trouble. Huh? They only know what he is, all right. Or what she is, maybe. Yeah. The worst international crook in the whole dirty racket. The fish peddler has been back at the scenes in every war and revolution for the last ten years. Buying and selling information. Bribery. Assassination. Oh, but how could one person do all those things? He or she has got a string of agents scattered all over the world. Known as the net. And we don't know who any of them are. Well, this may be the chance, Chief. Wouldn't be the first time one crook settled an old grudge by squealing on another. Well, do you think that accounts for the phone call? Could be. Anyhow, Pagan and I are going to the East Indies and find out. Huh? But, Mr. Thurston... Pagan, if this turns out to be one of your bum steers, I want to know exactly where to lay hands on you. Chief, I'll wire you from Macassar. Macassar? I thought that message said the boat would arrive in Batavia. The Dutch Airlines office says the only boat due in Batavia on that day is a cargo liner from Macassar. Makes a three-day run across the Java Sea. And I'm going to be on board. Thurston? Smells like a fruitcake. Spice market, Pagon. Oh. You want a ton of cinnamon? Here's the place to buy it. What would I do with a ton of... Ooh, ooh look, Mr. X, over there in that blue sarong. Pagon, Pagon. Well, I was only... Here now. Here's the Vistapo Cafe. Come on. Is this where that Captain Janssel hangs out? That's what the shipping agent said. Let's go in. Apple Cafe. Thanks. Always well, look... glad to see a new face. Step right in and uh. shake hands with Michael Joseph Zichitella, the Tom Cat of the keyboard. Hiya. The world's greatest hot piano player, bar none. Sit down, sit down. You ask me about Ellington, Fat Swaller, I never heard of. Here, take a listen. Get a load of this. How about that, huh? Yeah, well, that's... Uh, right, that's... used that as my theme for 16 months at a nightlight club off Piccadilly. Went from there to the Follies Burge Air, played a full season back in 27. Hey, you remember this one? 
Ah, uh, that brings back memories. Oh, sure, sure. Now, I wonder Just if you... Just call me Joe. Everybody calls me Joe. You know, this cafe job's only a fill-in, you understand. Got a big engagement over at the Opera House in Batavia next week. A solid 30 That's minutes... That's great, front... great. Maybe we'll, we'll catch your act over there. But right now, I want to talk to... I want to find Captain John Soot. Uh, John Soot? Uh, somebody want to talk with John Soot? Wait here, please. Yeah, is that you? Yeah, yeah, Captain Jan Soot, uh, cargo liner Nempark, Macassar to Batavia. Uh, my name is Ken Thurston, Captain. Uh, happy to know you, man, here. Uh, you want passage, maybe? For two of us. Have you got room? Yeah, yeah, plenty room. Only three, four passengers so far. Uh, we sail in the morning. Fine. If you will pardon me, Captain Jan Soot, perhaps uh, I should be going now. Uh, oh, oh, forgive me, man, here, Thurston. Uh, permit me to introduce... Dr. Mohammed Singh. Oh, not Dr. Mohammed. Uh, Dr. Singh is, uh, <clears throat> how do you say it again? A uh, zoologist, Mr. Thurston, specializing in the study of reptiles. I have collected some specimens from the jungles here to take back to Batavia. Ah, uh, snakes in boxes. <laughs> it's a funny business. You're sailing with us then, Dr. Singh? That is correct, Mr. Thurston. I hope the voyage will give us time to become acquainted. Oh, sure. See you on board, Doctor. Ah, uh, it's a funny cargo sometimes I carry. Yeah. Especially funny on this trip. Hmm? Captain, one of your passengers happens to be wanted by authorities all over the world. Oh, and you know who it is? Not yet. <clears throat> I may need your help. Manier, it is my business to haul cargo, haul passenger. It's no my business to catch criminal. If no bother me, I no bother him. I no want trouble with nobody. Well, I Bob, just might... take me to dinner? Oh, Your Honor, I, I forgot you come here. Uh, Manier Thurston, it's Your Honor. How do you do? How do you do? Is uh, this your daughter, Captain? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe we go eat now, Johanna. <laughs> Glad to, Pop. I'm starving. Yeah, yeah. Well, come, come. I'm happy to have met you, Miss Jansult. You going with us in the morning by any chance? What? Yes, Mr. Thurston, I am, as a matter of fact. Why do you ask? Hmm? Oh, let's not bother with it now. We'll have a lot of time to talk about it before we get to Batavia. <laughs> I should have had that little cookie in the blue sarong on this trip, Mr. X. I never saw such a moonlight before. Yeah, it's like daylight. You can almost see the Java coast over there. You do what I told you to? Oh, sure, sure. Joe just plays that piano and talks about Broadway back in 1926. All that Dr. Singh thinks about is snakes. And Captain Janssold talks about eating. Uh, Johanna? Well, she, she spends all her time with you. Yeah, she's uh, very interesting. Mr. X. These people don't know from nothing. I don't think this fish peddler crook is even on board. Anyhow, I'm practically broke. Yeah, the only chance you'd have of making any money is a way that's out of the question. Huh? You mean there is a way? Well, the fish peddler will probably pay plenty to find out who I am. You mean, uh, oh, 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 oh no. Like you said, Mr. X, it's, it's out of the question. Oh, I wouldn't tell us so. Oh, I know that. Of course you wouldn't. Well, oh, thank God, as a matter of fact, I don't know who he really is. Tell me about it. He is the man called X. You know what I'm saying? Hm. How about that? Uh, maybe it's worth about uh, 50 bucks to find out. Joe, my friend. As a matter of fact, Pagan, my friend, I was wondering if I could borrow about five from you. Just until we get to Batavia, of course. Of course, I wouldn't tell this to another soul, Dr. Singh. But Mr. Thurston is really called Mr. X. So, I find this most interesting. Most interesting. <laughs> so maybe it's worth about a uh, uh, hundred bucks, huh? Mr. Zerschmidt, to a poor scientist, such an amount seems staggering. Oh, my good friend, please take my advice and never become a zoologist. Financially, it is most unprofitable. You... Ken Thurston, the man called X? Oh, sure, I know him for years. But then, who else have you told about this? Not a soul. I only thought you might like to. Hey, wait. I'll see you later, Mrs. Elchman. But, but... Oh. Ken? Ken? Ken, are you in here? Is that you, Ken? Who are you? Who are you? Wait! No, don't! Oh, Captain 
the young soldier. Huh? Oh, and you're thirsty. Right. Uh, I don't see you, dare you? You wait for me, maybe? Yeah, I thought you'd show up here on the bridge sooner or later. Uh, here, mister, you take the wheel. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, good. Why you want to see me, man, here? Same thing, the fish peddler. But you don't even know who is it, this fish peddler. I may know pretty quick. Mr. Thurston. What is it, Baker? Mr. Thurston, come quick. Down to your cabin. What's the matter? Oh, it's it's Johanna. My daughter. What has happened? Uh, come, come on, let's have it. She's she's lying at the door of your cabin, Mr. Thurston. Somebody killed her dead. Blood all over her. to continue with Frigidaire's Man Called X, starring Herbert Marshall. Following up a tip concerning the whereabouts of a mysterious international crook called the Fish Peddler, Ken has taken passage on a Java Sea cargo liner bound for Batavia. To draw the criminal into the open, he allowed his true identity to become known to the handful of passengers. And a short time later, the captain's lovely daughter, Johanna, was found lying on the deck at the door of Ken's cabin. Now Ken and Captain Yansul have carried the girl into the ship's wardrobe. Oh, I, I tell you what. that roll of gauze, Pega. Here you are, Mr. Thurston. Oh, thanks heaven she knows is dead. Manir Zilschmidt, you come to preach and say my daughter is dead. And, oh, I, I think I die too, right there. Well, she looks kind of dead. You need some more bandits. What is that? Hey, maybe it's a torpedo or pirates or a mine or... Captain, I think it's somebody called the fish peddler. The fish peddler? Now, the engine stopped. Oh, Himmel, what has happened on my ship? Precisely what I came to ask you, Captain Yonfu. Dr. C. Doctor! Oh. oh, the young lady has been injured? She'll be all right. Oh, good. Good, then, with your permission, I shall remove myself to the lounge. Right there. Pagan, why don't you go with him? Well, I was, I mean, I... Uh... Um... Well, sure, sure. Come on, Dr. C. Well, that's that. Now, we'd better get up to the bridge. Money of Thurston, if I know who is the Tontis, with these two hands, I break the bones in the... What was it? That was a shot out on deck. Oh. How about it, Captain? Can I count on your help? I do anything but you say. Good. Get on that radio in the next room and contact Batavia. Yeah, yeah. See if the Dutch authorities there can send out a seaplane with a doctor and a police inspector. Ah, oh, no. What's the matter? The radio. All smashed to pieces, and look. Yeah, that lock has been forced open. What was in it? The ship's guns, three pistols, one rifle, all gone. Then we'd better get to the bridge, Captain. Come on. That's you, Captain Yonson. Uh, what has happened, mister? Why the engine stop? Explosion somewhere below decks. Must have damaged the rudder, sir. Who stopped the engines, you? Nothing else to do, sir. She wouldn't respond to the wheel. Say, so what's up anyway? Plenty of trouble. Right away, you go below and see what happened. Well, I tried to, sir, but somebody shot at me. What? Do you know who it was? No, they fired from the shadows. And somebody's fastened down all the hatch covers. Whole crew's locked below decks. Oh, uh, no chance of letting him out now. A man would be too easy a target out there on the deck in that moonlight. Yes, sir. Do you have a gun? No, sir, but there's some in the radio room. Not anymore. Somebody's taken them. Yeah, but, but why? I think the fish peddler found out who I am and thought he was getting pushed into a corner. So... Manier Thurston, I make bad mistake before. I think criminal is no my business. This mistake, I no make again. Okay, then, come on. Let's see what's going on in the lounge. Hello, Mr. Thurston. Everything's under the control. Yeah, I can see it is, Peg, huh? Step right in, gentlemen. Bent in here. Won't cost you a cent. Thanks, Joe. Glad to find you and Peg on in such a cheerful frame of mind. Why not? We're gonna get mighty, we're gonna get mighty, that's all. Don't you have a little drink, too? No, thanks, man. Where's uh, Dr. Singh? Uh, who knows? I was keeping a very close watch on him. But all of a sudden, that uh, poof, he was gone. Oh, sure. Then except for him and the crew below decks, 
All of us aboard are right here in the lounge, huh? Your Honor, we, we forget about Your Honor, Norman, here. It's all right, you think? I locked the wardroom door before we came in here, Captain. Oh, yes, right. I, I forget. Well, uh, what we do now? We identify the man I'm after. Huh? How you find out? Yeah. Who is he, Mr. Thurston? The only person on board besides me who's got a gun. That's all I wanted to know, Thurston. Don't move. Oops, a gun? Well, Joe, so you're the fish peddler. Smart guess, Thurston. Only it's a little late. I'll take your gun. Thanks. All right, now just take it easy and maybe no one will be hurt. You try to kill my Johanna! Shut you, up, you... Pop. Your daughter shouldn't have barged in on me while I was going through Mr. X's cabin. Well, Joe, what are your plans? Very simple for a spur-of-the-moment idea. It's less than ten miles to the Java coast, so I'm taking the power launch and heading in. I see. And with the ship's radio knocked out and the motor's dead, we don't have much chance of contacting anybody before sometime tomorrow, huh? That's right. Now, let's go out and lower the launch. If you do a good job of it, maybe I'll let all of you wave goodbye to me. Cheer up, my friends. In five minutes, I'll be gone and off your hands. Now, here. Gentlemen... What is happening? Dr. Singh. I've been looking for you, Doctor. Come on. Fall in with the rest of them. Mr. Thurston, why does this man have a gun? I'll tell you about it later, Doctor. Right now, we've got to help friend Joe get this launch into the water. All right, Captain Yansel, push out that stern davit. To help murderers escape is bad business. Say, we haven't got much choice. All right, let her down. Glad you're so good-natured about this, Thurston. I was afraid I might have a little trouble with you. Well, what's the use? You're the one who's got the gun. Well, there she is, ready to go. Good. My deepest thanks to all of you. Now, move back down the deck. I don't want to get slugged with a wrench when I drop down into this launch. That's it. Keep moving. Are they yet? We will get away if nothing can be done. Don't be too sure about that. Oh. What the... Mr. Rex, in the school of rope. Guns. Pick them when you shut up. Oh, I should have... Oh, well, you found him, huh? Hit the desk fast. Give me that gun. He dropped down behind that hatch coming. Yeah, he's undercover. He can't move away from it. But these guns... I found the way he'd hidden them before we came in the lounge. I was waiting until he went over the side. All right, Joe. The game's over. Come on out. Thurston? I think we can make a deal. Not a chance. Not even for the names and addresses of the net? The rest of my organization? Huh? Got a list of all 26 of my agents here in a notebook. Well? I can toss it to you or I can throw it overboard. It's up to you. What do you want for it? Your word that I can leave in the launch without being shot at. It's a deal, Joe. Let's have the book. I thought so. Here. Maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. So long, chums. What my dear first? I'd always trade one crook for 26, Captain. Besides, we'll have him back again by the end of the week. There's no place for him to hide in Java. I no promise him nothing. Quick, give me the gun. No use, Captain. He's out of range. But don't worry. Ah, I... Uh, oh, well... If you will pardon me, Mr. Thurston, I might suggest the probability he will never reach the coast of Java. What do you mean, Dr. Singh? I overheard what was happening in the lounge, so before you came out, I took the liberty of emptying one of my specimen boxes into the bottom of the launch. Those snakes? Yes, yes, quite deadly. They were rather sluggish, but perhaps by now the heat of the launch motor has made them very lively. Oh. oh. Uh, and he won't even know about them until one of them hits him. Well. Serves him right, Mr. Thurston. He'd just as soon kill anybody as look at them. Yeah, you may be right at that, Pagan. Anyway, there's nothing we can do about it now. Here in the East Enders, there's an old proverb. Something about... The conscience of an evil man is sharper than the fangs of a venomous serpent. Maybe Joe could tell us if that's true or not. Right about now. Frigidaire star, Herbert Marshall. Thanks for being with us. Ladies and gentlemen, 
America's production of things you want depends on steel. Millions of jobs depend on steel. And to make more steel, America needs more scrap metal. So join the big drive. Collect scrap metal around your home, give it to a local scrap collection agency, or sell it to a scrap dealer right away. Now, next week, our story is called A Tiger for the Lady. And Mr. X runs into plenty of trouble in a little town called Porto Colombre, Panama. He also runs into his shadow, Pagon Zellschmidt, played as usual by Leon Belasco. So join us, won't you, when next I return as the man called X. Good night. <laughs> Frigidaire's Man Called X is directed by Jack Johnstone with music composed and conducted by Johnny Green. Tonight's story was written by Les Crutchfield. So until next week, same time, same station, this is Wendell Niles speaking for Frigidaire, made only by General Motors. All characters and incidents used on this program are fictitious. Any resemblance to actual persons or incidents is purely coincidental. Remember, every Sunday night brings you two popular dramatic shows on CBS, The Man Called X and The Adventures of Sam Spade. Yes, for the best in entertainment, tune in and stay tuned in to CBS, the biggest show in town. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting Center.